As you guys have seen in the intro and on screen right now, this is the effect that we're gonna be creating in today's video. Essentially, we're gonna be using rotoscoping in a very creative way, and actually two different ways to make some cool effects. And in my opinion, these effects are super, super dope, and honestly will help you stand out from the crowd on social media. So if you do lifestyle content, I highly recommend doing these rotoscope effects. But before we go ahead and get into that, I wanna let you guys know that my name is Chris Bustead and I run the Takeover Shop, where it's editing assets and presets for content creators creators just like you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into Premiere Pro. First things first, let's go ahead and just check out the footage. This is the blank footage. As you guys can see, I kind of just walk into frame, walk out. Super, super boring. And if I just posted this as is, like this would probably get no views, no nothing. Like people won't even think twice uh, or like, try to watch it again you know what i mean so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to go ahead and sauce it up so how are we gonna sauce it up well we're gonna use rotoscopes because that's just how the video and that's what i'm showing you guys if you guys are on apple there is a third party plugin called keeper and that is what i'm gonna be using for rotoscoping but this is more about sharing off the techniques rather than how to actually rotoscope if you guys want to actually watch how to rotoscope go in the top right corner and i will have a video linked to how to rotoscope in After Effects. So again, like I said, I'm gonna be using the Keeper plugin. This is just rotoscoping for me. And what I kind of want for this first clip is similar to the video, I want to have kind of like my body starting up here and dragging down and meeting at this cut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this clip and we're just gonna drag this back just like so, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead, select it. We're gonna go ahead and rotoscope it. So this is where you would rotoscope and do your own process if you don't have keeper again this is a paid plugin i can't give it away otherwise i would so we go ahead and do that make sure the setting is detect subject quality high i kind of like that the best and then we're going to go to transform or you guys could use my takeover preset pack and just do a drag and drop preset but i'm going to show you guys how to do it from scratch show you guys how to make your own presets as well so we're going to go ahead keyframe position we're going to want this to be right here lined up on the cut and then we're gonna go to the beginning and we're just gonna go ahead, drag it up just like so. And then I'm gonna use composition shutter. So I'm gonna check that, or I'm, I don't want to use composition shutter. So we're just gonna go ahead, do that, drag the value up so we get some motion blur. And then you'll see that it kind of whips down, but that's a little too um, stiff for me. I'm gonna go ahead and right click on both of these keyframes. Auto Bezier, actually, never mind cap. Bezier, I meant. There we go. And then let's go ahead, hit this down little carrot, and then let's kind of drag this in just like so. Just like that. And as you see, we have our first effect already done. Super, super sick. Now we're gonna go ahead and sauce it up. And the way that I wanna like kind of sauce up, like make this look a little bit better is I wanna add a overlay transition so you go ahead and grab your film burn transitions whatever that looks like um, you can find a lot of good ones for free on youtube matter of fact i literally used to use them like free ones all of the time until i got the uh creative ryan pack so we go to screen then we go to scale 50 we'll go ahead and look at that and then let's see kind of how this looks okay so i kind of want to use this part to be the first frame so maybe something like this maybe like Maybe like that. So that way it kind of meshes. And then I'm just gonna go in, out, and then render this real quick. Fire. So that looks pretty freaking sick. I like that a lot. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the second effect. And the second effect is pretty much a, uh, I call it like the duplicate sort of giant clone effect. Cole Bennett actually uses it a lot in his music videos. Like I think literally one of the first little tech videos, he used it a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead, just you'd use this part where I'm walking off, just like that. I'm gonna duplicate this clip and then I'm going to rotoscope it out. And so we have the roto. I'm gonna drag this back. I'm gonna drag that back like so. Actually, I'm gonna leave that like that. And then I'm going to again, do subject. Uh, again, if you're just rotoscoping a different way, just go ahead and do that. And then now we're gonna go ahead and mess with the scale of the rotoscope. I'm gonna do something like this. And then I'm actually gonna add a horizontal flip. So I'm gonna do a flip to this as well horizontal flip so that way it's kind of walking the opposite way so let's go ahead and recenter this 
like I said, so I kind of want to start something like that. Now this looks very odd and it doesn't look good at all. And I am aware I'm going to scale this up a little bit more and then we are going to go add a blur. Type in blur, go to Gaussian blur, drag and drop, and then just add the blurriness amount to something like 41. I think that looks pretty good. Pretty realistic. Honestly, it might make this bigger just like so. Yeah, that looks a lot more realistic. And then we'll just go ahead and play this out. See how it's looking. And then I'm just going to keep this going. Yeah. Fire. Okay, so I'm actually really, really liking what's going on here. Let's see if this looks good. Yeah, I actually like that a bit better. Now, for this one to kind of like make it mesh better, I'm going to go ahead and just add like a flash transition. And the way I'm going to do that is grab an adjustment layer. You guys can grab in this little icon, adjustment layer, grab an adjustment layer and just dragging it in. I already have one up there, so I don't need to. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure it's six keyframes long. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go drag it in the middle and then I'm going to just go ahead and put on a glow transition or a flash transition. So flash, then you'll see adjustment layer, flash transition, drag and drop, and then it'll do its thing. Again, if you guys want to go ahead and copy the takeover pack, it will be linked down below for Premiere Pro. And really, if you don't ha want to go ahead and buy it, you just type in the VR glow and then sort of keyframe the intensity to where it's like not bright and then gets bright and then gets not bright again. Super, super simple. Now, in the example that I showed you guys, I added some uh, color grade, added uh, a little bit more film overlay transitions, and after that, a uh, handheld smooth shake, and then you're pretty much good to go from there. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Again, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, reach out, that is the place to do so. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.